how to let the sales pop up in your Shopify store. Now that's what I'm going to show you guys in this video. So let's get started right away. So as you can see, I'm here on my test store in Shopify. This is my dashboard. And to let the sales pop up in my store, I need to download an app called Sales Pop Up Conversion Pro. And that's a third party app. So what we want to do is we go to apps and then click on shop for apps. Then we are here on the Shopify app store with all the third party apps you can download for Shopify. And then you're going to type in sales pop up. And then you click on this free app sales pop up conversion pro by care card. We click on this and you see very good review 3000 good reviews. Very good. And to add this app, we want to click on add app. And now I just need to agree all the terms for this app and uh, then I can click on install app. And once you've clicked on that, you land on this page where you can start and set up everything. So I click on let's go. And now you can adjust how many latest orders you would like to display as recent sale notifications. So I can say like 20 days when it's pop the sales up from the last 20 days. Then I click on import orders. So now I can set a delay timer. So set initial delay timer for the first sale notification to appear for store visitor and also set delay between notifications of sale notifications module. So let's say five seconds, both five seconds. And I click on set delay time. Now I can also select the time zone. So yeah, this is completely personal. Now all the things are set up. I'm now in a dashboard of sales pop up. And as you can see here, sales notifications on. And now as you can see, this is what it's gonna look like. And uh, yeah, it's pretty good. And now I can also customize the sales notifications here. Here you see all the settings and the positions where you want to let it appear. And here the full name, the product name, the date, the light, dark mode, uh, whatever you want. And here is a premium option to remove the, the care card branding. But yeah, it doesn't really matter. A cool trick is that when you don't have orders to appear, you can easily set up a fake test order in Shopify. And then the sales pop up thinks it's a real order so that for new customers, it's like they're on a very popular site. So that may lead to a higher conversion rate. Let me know in the comments if this worked for you. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I hope to see you in the next video.